And you're welcome back to New Central, but we're still staying on your election command center where the National Election Security Task Force has been meeting with organized labor and other stakeholders to provide insights into steps taken towards elections and the state of the security agencies pledged to work within the rule of law. The National Election Security Task Force also, as promised, has set up a media center at the police headquarters for its engagement with the media and the public during the December elections. Having declared its readiness to oversee a violent free process, the tax force is ready for a comprehensive security watch during the polls uh, with a series of pre-election engagement with key stakeholders. Let's touch base with Christian Yale, who's been sitting through one of such uh, stakeholder engagements from the police headquarters. He's joined us. Chris, You've seen the place. Let's start with, with this media engagement center. Talk to us about it and the components therein. Exactly, Eric. And so this is a newly built uh, facility or center here at the police headquarters, especially when you come to the public affairs directorate. That section, that is where you see this security task force built. It is white tent, a white tent. And just when you get to the entrance, you see boldly written on the entrance, National Election Security Task Force Press Center. When you enter, you see air conditioners fitted in the room to maintain a very appropriate temperature, room temperature for persons who would be operating in that room. There is a public address system, what you would call uh, a PA system, i.e. speakers and microphones are there. There are also chairs around with a woolen carpet that is spread all on the floor or on the ground in that tent or in that room. And so I, I engage the IGP briefly off camera who tells me that they are going to run this center throughout the election. So that is going to be the main source of contact or point of contact for the media, the police or the task force is going to engage the media as well as the public on everything concerning security during the elections and even thereafter. And so it is actually the first day or this is the first day that the place is being used for this engagement between the security task force and the business community. I would say that it is it looks very great with I mean adequate lighting inside right. to aid all operations there, Eric. And and outside of, of the of the center and the activities expected some nine days away, we know that the police has been meeting the Ghana Union of Traders Association as well. What's been on the table for discussion? Exactly. As we talk right now, they are having a closed door meeting and so the media have been allowed uh, to, to, to go out or to excuse them for that. Uh, closed door meeting, but it, it's not even Guta alone. We have seen the Association of Ghana Industries. We also have uh, Guta as well, and almost every everyone that forms part of organized labor is here together with the uh, an officer from the Electoral Commission, the person of Dr. Sribo Kweku, who is the director of training for the Electoral Commission. I've also seen a couple of them, even including um, uh, lawyer uh, Jantua, uh, Kwame Jantua, who are all here meeting the security. But what has been the conversation really, especially from the Ghana Immigration Service, has been the fact that they are going to secure Ghana's borders from unlawful entry by any forms of miscreant who may want to come to destabilize or disrupt the peace in the country. And one funny thing has been what the Ghana Prison Service has been saying by right. saying that, for instance, they don't have adequate rooms to be uh, accepting new clients or new persons into the prison service. And so they are actually encouraging the business community to discipline themselves, especially their members, to understand it, that really the outcome on the election of the elections is about them. If it goes well and the country is stable, their businesses will thrive. And if there is no peace, they cannot operate. And so they should cooperate. The business community actually uh, has accepted this form of cooperation and has pledged to ensure that there is peace. Dr. Humphrey Ayim Dake has been speaking on their behalf, and he says that this is a strong partnership that they are going to, you know, build going forward, and they are ready to collaborate in ensuring peaceful, transparent, and free elections going into December 7, Eric. Then, Christian, always appreciate the details. That's my colleague, Christian Yale, from the Ghana Police Services headquarters, where he tells us a series of meetings lined up between the police hierarchy, the Electoral Commission's director of training, and then the respective trade unions where education is being offered as well and peace is being preached at this particular point in time, Kimi.